Hello and welcome to Venusian Scorp Intuition. This video is going to be for my lovely Leos, aka Lilies. And this will be your romance weekly reading for April 29th through May 5th. I know I was kind of slow with you guys' readings too. So I'm going to do you a bonus as well with Cancer, Pisces, Aries, um, Sag, and you guys, Leo. Okay, you guys will get a small bonus this week near the end, okay? Um, just for that, making it up to you guys. All right, like I said, this will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the April 29th through May 5th. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe these videos. As regards to personal readings, if you want a same-day reading, it's $25 extra. If you want a same-day reading, which is an hour, it's $30 extra, okay, guys? Because then that imposes on my personal time. And like I said, I got five kids and a family to run on my own and stuff to do on my own. And if you want to impose on my time, it's a little extra, okay? People charge $150 and up for emergency readings okay and you don't even get it that day they that booked i'm booked as well so you know i try to show love y'all all right um i do have readings as low as 15 dollars um i did have zell as a payment uh option but something's going on with it i have to call my bank and see what's going on because it's not working correctly um but like i said now to the videos if you want more information about my personals reach out to me at venusian scorp intuition at gmail.com the description is in the link below okay in the description box below all right in the pre-shuffle you guys got the queen of pentacles that is taurus virgo capricorn okay leo you guys could be dealing with this energy or this could be your energy you're worried about your coins your family stability all right all right let's get going holy spirit and archangels can you please give us guidance and insight for my lovely leos for the week of april 29th through may 5th okay so you guys could be dealing with the pisces a Libra Taurus is the Empress card. A Libra or Taurus. Or a Libra with Taurus in the chart. Uh-oh. Okay, we have the Capricorn card. Turn over here. I'm only taking the ones that flipped over, guys. So you guys be dealing with the Cancer. Okay. Okay. All right. So. I feel like... Uh, the energy is fluid, guys. Also, it's like a snapshot photo in time. The energy can change, okay? Energy doesn't just stay still, all right? Um, it could be for last week, this week. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. Get a personal reading, okay, guys? All right. So, I feel like either a Virgo or Capricorn is coming back. A Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus is coming back to you because we have it here with the Six of Cups. And this is someone coming back from the past. It could be an ex. Um... Or you could be reaching out to somebody in the past, all right? I feel like maybe some of you guys could be in a relationship already if this person reached out or have something going on because we have the Ten of Pentacles, something that was substantial. If this is an ex coming back, you guys were together for a while. You could have a child with this person, maybe. Um, if not, you're Libra or Taurus, you're a cross watcher, maybe. And like I said, this person could have cancer. But uh, I feel like... You could be coming towards a cancer, wanting a stable commitment. Um, maybe you're like, look, I want this to be solidified. You came back in my life. You know, I want to make it, you know, official. Or this is to someone else. They came back into your life and they want to make it official with you. You could have been waiting on a Capricorn for some of you guys because you guys had a petty disagreement. Um, but this person could have been deeply thinking about you with the Four of Swords, maybe even dreaming about you. Or you could be dreaming about a Capricorn or you could be dreaming, of having dreams about maybe if this person is toxic, uh, showing you that this person is toxic and this person, this energy is petty. You could be having dreams about that, okay? If not, you're really thinking about someone toxic that you fell out with and you don't know what to really do because you guys are in limbo. It's kind of a stagnant energy, okay? But um, this person could come in quick. Like I said, it could be a Libra Taurus or a uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay? Let me clarify the four swords here. Yeah, they could think of wanting to communicate. They're thinking about how they want to communicate. It could be a Libra. They want to reach out to you. Uh, maybe to set the record straight. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? Maybe to set the record straight. Maybe you guys started falling out and there was no closure. But this person's contacted you to set the record straight. Or you're thinking about setting the record straight with the Libra. Could be a Gemini or Aquarius. But Libra here is strong. what the petty arguments could have been about yeah somebody felt betrayed backstabbed it could have been some rumors you could have heard someone talking about you but somebody felt hurt like this was as hurt as they could get 
Why is the devil card here, Holy Spirit of Archangels? Why is the devil card here? Okay, um, you could have had a toxic connection with a King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer, okay? Yeah, my King of Cups. This is someone, if that's not their sign, this is someone that has a lot of emotion for you and a lot of love with you, but they had it. They have a hard time expressing it, okay? So they could have betrayed you in you guys' partnership, and maybe they're the ones who wanted to come back. For you, some of you guys is cancer strong. Yeah, they want to make a change. Because I feel like you guys might not be together now. And if you are, you just recently got together. And you're just like, uh, I don't know if I want to make this solid again. I'm thinking about it, okay? See? As soon as I said that the page of rods came out. This is an opportunity that somebody has received. But they're thinking about it. You might not want to take this person back. Because you're making some changes. Or like I said, you have someone new. And now this, come, this person comes back professing their love. Like, okay, I want to reevaluate this. I want to take it back. And you're like, I'm in limbo. Because you can see. As soon as I see. You walked away from this sadly. But you moved on and healed. Now them coming back has sent you into Ike's mode. Okay? Or vice versa. Take it how it comes, guys. Yeah. You love this person or they loved you. And now you're kind of like in a tizzy. This is for the people that have someone. And if you don't have someone, you've just been in limbo. Because you're like, do I want to take this person back? See, page of cups. They're coming in trying to offer you love, okay? Uh, or a gesture, a loving gesture. Leo. That's how I said. That's where the page arrives here. I feel like you're looking at that opportunity. Because maybe this person juggled. You know what I mean? And you're like, eh. Or maybe they're traveling to you. They're really showing you that they care because they're traveling to you, okay? See, again, the page is like the idea of traveling. The knight is actually traveling towards you with this cup. Somebody's trying to come towards you, back towards you with this cup and a fucking offer, okay, Leo? Seriously. But this person could have been deceitful in the past, or this could be energy now, or this could be you because you're building with someone else. So it's causing you to be building with three people. Yourself, the new person, and the ex person trying to come in. So it's kind of giving you a deceptive connotation or flip-flopping, okay, guys? So that's why you're kind of like, oh, shit. Or this could be your person, like I said. It's not like they necessarily was trying to be sneaky, but now they're kind of sneaky because you came back and they're like, oh, shit, I got somebody, you know? They want to heal so you guys are dealing with the aqua Aquarius. But it's like you're the star now because it's like everybody wants you now. And you're like, shit. I got somebody. But I did want this ex back because I feel like you really give a fuck about the ex. See, the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. But it's like somebody wants to heal and they want their spot back. If this resonates for you, please let me know. Somebody want their goddamn spot back. See, they could have been given to two. They could have want their cake and eat it too. Or maybe they, you are given to two and you want your cake and eat it too. You're like, oh, I do like my new person, but I like my old person too. So it's putting you in the in energy of third party. Be careful, okay, Leo? If I said Pisces, I meant Leo. I don't think I did, but if I did. See, yeah, you're single and now the emperor wants to come back. He's looking at you like, and for the ones that are single. Okay, the Taurus, Aries, they want you back, all right? Maybe they seen you with somebody, but Emperor, he wants to claim his territory back. See, the lovers, some of you guys to be dealing with Gemini. They want to claim their territory, territory back. They might want some goodies. They want something they could have been given to two, and now they want this back. Because I told you somebody really loves you, and they want a partnership, or vice versa. You really will see? Told you. Somebody wants you back. They might have went and dabbled out in the water, but now they want to come back for a new beginning. Or maybe you jumped out there, and you're like, I found somebody new. I found some options, and now you're coming back. I don't know. You know? I don't know. I don't know what I want. You know what I mean, Leo? Shoot. So I'm just going to take the top card. Yeah, they want to come back into union. They want to bring the truth, okay? They're like, here, this is what happened. I know I've been going a while. I had to think some things out, whatever the case is. It took them a lot of strength to come in and tell you this, okay? They might have heard you were with somebody, but they, you know, they like, you know, it could be, like I said, it's King of Rods, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, um, Leo Strong, because this, it came out on top of the strength card. Um, I know this is your sign, but maybe you're restraining yourself um, or this person is restraining you again because this person is taming this lion. Or this could have been somebody that had a strong hold on you, I'm telling you. See, Ten of Cups. They do not want to let you go, okay? They have a strong hold on you, Leo. It could be another fire sign, Aries. They have a strong hold on you. 
And you're like, shit, you have a family with them. That could be what they're holding on you. Or you're holding over their head. See, before it was disputes and moving very slow. But now it's like this person is trying to kick into action. Okay, Leo? Because they can see you drifting away with other people, entertaining options, and they don't like that. Or they maybe they just feel it. Okay? Yeah, they might have just felt it or they're confused, okay? Or you're dealing with a cancer. Or you're a Leo with cancer in your chart. See? Confusion. Uh, you know, you might say some quick words. Like, now you want to bring your ass back. I don't even know if I want this. You could be kind of immature about it, okay? Or if this is your person, they're kind of immature about it. Like, no. We always getting into it. I don't know if I want this shit. I found somebody new. I don't know. Now you want to come back in and get me back. I can't just drop somebody like that. You could be telling them something they don't want to fucking hear, but they want forgiveness. They're like, oh, baby, please. Please. You know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I, they offering a cup. They're like, please. You know, I'm trying to reciprocate. I want the evil. They, and then they're waiting on you. You might have gave them like, look, I don't know. So now they're waiting on you, okay? Or the energy could be reversed, like I said. Now they're waiting on you, Leo. See, and you walked away. Or you might decide to walk away from this offer, all right? All right, we're going to pull the uh, Romance Oracles. Already, daddy. The Romance Oracles. I like to give a quick shuffle before I put my deck back. Sorry, guys. All right. Like I said, you guys will get your bonus sometime this week. And if I forget, say something in the comments. Like, where's that bonus if y'all don't see it in the by Friday, Friday afternoon. All right. Holy Spirit, my angels, what is the romance guidance for my lovely Leos? Past life relationship, because we got the Six of Cups. I'm telling you, it could be coming back. Because you guys have a strong bond. Let let your friends help you. Um, some of you guys' friends could be saying, you know what, go back with your ex. You know that motherfucker made you happy. You know what I mean? See, I'm getting two contradictory energies. Now, for some of you, this person coming back, pay attention to the red flags. They might fuck up what you got going on, okay? If not, pay attention to the red flags. The new person is might come out of their bag and you might need to go back to your old person, okay? Your old person could be sneaky or your new person could be sneaky, all right? But one of them is safe for you to love them. Um, I feel like the past life relationship is. But I feel like your friends have the good advice here, all right? They might have the good advice because they might have seen both friends, I mean both people, and they're like, nah, go back with the ex. I feel like they're genuine. That's what they could be telling you. They're like, girl, you saw this shit with this new person. Don't the ex coming back, they're doing what you want them to do. Take them. Or if it's vice versa, like, man, don't go back to his ass. You know what I mean? Your friends could maybe have good insight. One of them are, is safe for you to love. The per people with two people that's dealing with a new person, the ex came back. One of them. All right, guys? If you need more insight into your situation, please reach out to me at VenusianScorpIntuition at gmail.com. I love you, my Lilies. And sorry for the greasy face. I tried this new primer and setting spray, and it's a little bit greasy, y'all. All right, loves. Talk to you later.